just going to show how to use these ratchet strainers. Uh, very handy bit of gear for short strains. Um, you can buy these with an electric uh, bullnose insulator on the back, um, or you can buy them without. Um, they're pretty handy if you're setting up a place um, that you want to be able to just get around on a quad bike quite quickly with a shifter and nip your wires up. If you, Short strains will never hold their strain for a long time um, as a wire slackens, so these are, enable you to wind your fencing wire up. There's two different ways they can be used. One way is that there is a hole in the back. You thread your wire straight through the back of the strainer and then through the hole in the um, gear part of the, like the, the straining part of the strainer. Um, you thread that onto your, onto your wire. I'll just do a quick rough tie here so that we can show how these work. Just make this very rough. So they can be used in line you have them, you know, as you want to keep them a certain, you know, at least two odd foot away from your strainer so that over time as you wind more on, you've got more room to adjust it. But we've got that on there. You can use a shifter, you can use the right size spanner, or you can be rough like I'm just about to and uh, use a shifter. And if you get a good close up of that, um, you'll see that as I wind, um, it winds the wire around the center piece. Um, I always try and get right over in a big exaggerated move from one side of the ratchet to the other with the wire and then come back and try and get it to cross over your original wires and that locks it in as well as it's got a locking mechanism there so as we wind that that just gets tighter and tighter usually you would put it on a half firm wire you wouldn't use a loose wire like I have but this is just for the demonstration and so that's how you use that type of ratchet in line um, to release it you would just, if the wire was tight, you would wind the ratchet with your spanner and pull the locking mechanism out and now if I get hold of this properly I can just pull that back out um, and that, that allows that to come off and be rejigged, readjusted. Now I'll just undo this quickly and then I'll show you the other way that these can be used. Discard that bent bit so we don't make it hard for ourselves. The other way is that you already have your wire on your posts. like so, then you put a cut in your wire, this is more of a permanent, well not, not so much permanent but um, quite a fixed way, we want a bend in the end of that wire, Just I usually use just a plier width of wire, as you can see the, just grab the pliers by the end and put a bend in that 90 degrees which will lock into our loop. I always put that on first so that we make sure that we've got enough um, to hold on to that. And then we tie that round. Again, I'll just do it fairly rough so that you can see how they work. Um, and then that way, the same again. If you leave it loose enough, you do a big wide run over and then come back over your knot. And all the while that's ratcheting up. And so you can see that that gets a wire quite firm and that's soft, quite soft wire. Um, but they work extremely well on short strains. You can get them quite tight if you use a shifter or a spanner. Um, just for re really good for short strains. Wouldn't overly bother with long strains because you can get them quite tight. So that's the ratchet strainer.